hello once again and then welcome to another video um in case you are new here kindly subscribe okay kindly hit on the subscribe button and then switch on your bell icon so that you don't miss out on any video okay or tutorial videos or calculator tricks okay um this video will be very very short and concise right we'll be talking about differential equations the stuff you need to know and the ones you just have to just skim through okay um i'll be just hitting on the vital infos okay this would be just the intro the next video will be the solution to um differential equations that's where um during lectures they might teach you how to you know solve and then arrive at this solution of a differential equation which corresponds to um exact differential equation okay but i'll go further okay and then um teach you how to you know solve the exact differential equation whenever you see the a similar or exact um expression during exams whether um theory exams theory based exams or mcqs okay mcqs that's where the fun is so after watching this video kindly um check that video out okay it could be in the description or just go back to uh, videos and then you find it over there okay so let's dive right into this video okay so one thing you have to know is that classification of differential equation could be um grouped into two we have the ordinary differential equation and then we have the partial differential equation okay so but for this section we'll be only talking about the ordinary differential equations okay the partial differential equations will be treated in another topic okay or subtopic okay so now we have order of differential equations okay now when we talk about order of differential equations we are talking about the highest possible degree at which a differential can go okay so we have order and then we have degree so i will try to explain the order and then degree so that you get to know the exact difference okay so when we are when we talk about the degree oh no the order of a differential equation all you need to know is that the highest order means the highest value your y or could be differentiated to so let's say we have the squared y on the x squared this means that this is a second order differential equation okay okay yes and then this the squared y on the s squared could be also written as y prime prime okay so let me give you another example maybe you have y okay prime 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 okay plus 2y okay prime prime and then plus 5y okay prime right equals maybe 6 x y okay so when we talk about the order of differential equation the order of this differential equation will be 3 okay this will be 3 because it's the highest value the y is being raised to so the highest order of this differential equation will be what you can guess it right that is 2 okay right hope you understand this portion okay so let's move on to the degree of differential equation note this is the difference whenever you see a de the degree of or whenever you want to identify the degree of a differential equation this is what you look out for the degree of a differential equation is the power or exponent of the highest ordered differential equation okay or the highest order that a differential equation is being raised to okay so from here we know that this is our second order differential equation right this is our third order differential equation right now let's look at this example okay let's look at this example so we have y prime 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 raised the power three plus y prime prime raised the power five right plus y on x squared plus one equals e exponent x now you could notice that you could just find the order of this differential equation you, your guess might be right as mine okay the order of this differential equation is what three okay because it's the highest value the y is being raised to okay now when it comes to degree of differential equation we look out for exponents okay we look out for exponents so the exponents the highest differential is being raised to okay let's look at this example you could see that the y prime prime is being raised to the power 3 right 
and then the y prime prime is being raised to the power 5 so you might think that the degree of this differential equation is this because it has the highest exponents no we look at the y the highest power of the y to the uh, to determine the degree of the differential equation so from here we could see, see that the highest power of y is 3 okay it's been raised 3 or it's been differentiated 3 times okay that's what you have to know it's been differentiated 3 times and then the power to that differential is 3 okay so that means that the degree of this differential equation is 3 okay so now this same example has order okay order of 3 and then a degree okay a degree of also 3 okay yes that's what it means so let me give you another example let's take this example for instance let me write um, something different or something similar okay so we have maybe y prime prime okay prime okay all raised to the power 7 okay minus 3y prime prime okay plus x y prime equals 5 e exponent maybe x okay y right now we could notice that we could notice that um you could notice that um this um expression has um third differential okay it's been differentiated three times okay and this highest exponent is seven this means that this has this y has a order and then has a degree okay the degree is what seven and then our order is three okay have three as the order and then seven as a degree okay now let's move on to linear differential equations okay now there are three things you need to know about linear differential equation and not that's in order to identify a linear differential equation okay so one all one thing you have to know the first step is that no dependent variable and or is that a derivative okay only in the first degree or to the first part okay no dependent variable and all is derivative okay only in the first degree okay so now this is how you identify a differential equation first you have to know that every linear differential equation has its highest order to be one yes that's what it means it has its highest order to be one or something higher than one okay it shouldn't be less than one the highest value should be one or no the lowest value should be one okay it should be the first differential or more that's why you say they state that the dependent variable and all is derivative okay in the first degree okay the dependent variable and all is derivative okay um in the first degree and then we have the no product of dependent variable say why okay there shouldn't be something like y prime multiplied by y okay or y prime prime multiplied by y something like this doesn't okay in um linear differential equations okay so first you have to know all that one of the things you need to know is that there shouldn't be the dependent variable the dependent variable is the y okay the independent is the x okay so first no dependent variable and all its derivatives okay only in the first degree okay no that's why i said it shouldn't be less than the first order okay yes it shouldn't be less than the first order it has to be y or some y prime or y prime prime or something higher okay and the third thing you need to know the third thing you need to know is that there shouldn't be a trigonometric um, function multiplying a dependent variable okay something like y prime okay Multipli multiplying cos x this is this isn't a linear differential equation okay the dependent variable shouldn't multiply a trig function okay something like 
y sine of x right yes so um knowing this you could have, um, identify a linear differential equation so first a linear differential equation ha must have its dependent variable raised to the power of one or has should have an order of one or more an order of one or high two um the dependent variable shouldn't multiply itself okay a dependent multiply a dependent variable shouldn't multiply itself and then the third one is that um the dependent variable shouldn't multiply a trigonometric function or yes a log function a trig function an exponential function okay shouldn't multiply a log function okay a trig function a trig function or um an exponential function okay yes so those are the three things you need to know first the order of the differential equation must be one or higher okay the order has to be one or higher two the dependent variable that's the y sh shouldn't multiply itself okay and then three we have um the dependent variable shouldn't multiply a trig function a log function or an exponential function so from this um let's identify the differential the linear differential equations in this you can pause the video and then try to identify the linear differential equations okay after that we will just continue um, okay so just look through and then identify the linear differential equations okay so by this time i hope you are done so let's let's try this together okay so from here we could notice that this the first example okay is a linear differential equation because one it has an order of one okay the linear differential equation has at least a first differential okay that's order of one okay yes and then we could know that this is has order one and then what a degree of one okay if you followed from our previous explanation you will notice that this has an order of one and a degree of one and then it's a linear differential equation because first it has an order of one second is not multiplied by a dependent variable yes the differential is not multiplied by the first order differential is not multiplied by a dependent variable and then the third point is that um it isn't the dependent variable isn't multiplied by a trig function either is it multiplied by an exponential or um how do they even call it um a log function okay let's look at the second example the second example could be also identified as a linear differential equation okay because first we could notice that the dependent variable has at least first order okay so you can see that this is a first order this is a second order okay and then second the differential the dependent variable isn't multiplied by a y okay so you could see that this 3x squared y prime prime it isn't multiplied by a dep another dependent variable okay and again we have 2 ln x y prime you could notice that we could notice that um the dependent variable isn't multiplied by itself and then from here to you could find exponent x um y okay right and then this is equal to 3 cos x okay yes so this is um, a linear differential equation okay let's look at the third one from the third one no let's identify all the key points in here so here we could notice that there is a second order differential equation okay this is a second order differential equation because it has an order of two that's y prime prime and then looking at the highest order of the differential equation we could notice that the same linear differential equation has a degree of one okay yes because the highest and um, the, the order the order is raised to is just one let's look at the third example okay so from the third example you could notice that this is not a differential a linear differential equation because one even though it has a dependent variable raised to the first order we could notice that that's this one we could notice that the dependent variable is also multiplied to another y okay and then again we could notice that the dependent variable is being multiplied by a um a trig function that's cos x okay right okay so now we could 
identify that the first two are linear differentials per our initial statements or our initial rule and then the third one isn't so you can try your hands on other examples okay um thank you for staying with me to the end of this video kindly subscribe okay share the video like the video and then hit on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any uploaded video okay so the next video will be on solution to differential equation and then i will prove to you some of the tricks you need to know trust me nobody will tell you it's the truth nobody will tell you that okay so thanks a lot and see you in the next video bye bye